Understanding and avoiding common errors with articles. Hello language learners, welcome back. Today we're diving into the deep end of English grammar. We'll be discussing one of the trickiest areas for learners, articles. More specifically, we're looking at common errors made when using the definite and indefinite articles. The A and N. It might seem small, but mastering these tiny words can make a big difference in your English fluency. Before we dig into the mistakes, let's briefly revisit what these articles are. In English, we have two types of articles, definite and indefinite. The is our definite article. We use it when we are talking about a specific thing or person that is already known to the listener or reader. On the other hand, a and n are indefinite articles. We use them when we're talking about a general or non-specific thing or person. Let's dive into the common errors with using the 1. Omission Often, non-native speakers leave out the when it is needed. For example, they might say, I'm going to park, instead of the correct sentence, I'm going to the park. 2. Unnecessary use just as often, the is added where it isn't needed. For example, I'm going to the school might be used instead of the correct, I'm going to school. Remember, we use the when we are referring to something specific and known to the listener. Now, let's check out where errors often occur with a and n. 1. Wrong choice. The key here is pronunciation. We use n before words that start with a vowel sound, and a before words that start with a consonant sound. Mistakes happen when this rule is ignored. For example, saying a apple instead of an apple. 2. Omission. Just like with the a and n can be left out when needed. For example, I have cat. Instead of the correct sentence, I have a cat. Again, A and N are used to talk about non-specific items or people. The key to mastering articles is practice. As you read and speak English, pay attention to how articles are used. Make a note of tricky sentences and revisit them. Learning from mistakes is the most effective way to improve. That's all for this video. We hope this guide on common errors with articles helps clear up any confusion and improves your English language skills. Remember, even native English speakers make mistakes, so don't be too hard on yourself. Keep practicing, and your proficiency with articles will increase over time. See you in our next lesson.